Okay, man, so this is a crazy situation. If you've never been to Houston or heard about mob ties and how they are running the street, I mean, I'm talking about J. Prince Jr. and J. Prince Sr. Right here, we have DJ Academics revealing how powerful this man really is in Houston. Now, listen up, my Houston people, let me know under the comment section because this audio I'm about to play for you all is really crazy. This will really open your eyes to understand how this man really operates in the street. Now, the Jacques was so flabbergasted about this whole situation because he never thought about it, bruh. You all never hear the reason why everyone is talking about mob ties, bruh. You all never knew how this man are talking about J. Prince Jr. Everyone in the industry is just scared of these people, bruh. And you never understand how powerful they are, but trust me, after you watch this video to the end, you really understand what's going on right here. Go ahead and check it out, man. This is all things I've heard. Talk to a lot of Textonians. I don't know if that's what they call themselves. But I've heard that Jay Prince and his sons have unlimited power when it comes to Houston. Like, for example, I asked the question. I said, well, can't be that much power. And everybody told me, yeah, I know it is that much power. J Prince is probably the entity that's bigger than anybody in any major city. And I kept asking questions. And I said, what do you mean? And I even brought up the story I told y'all before. I said, you know, 6ix9ine told me when he got arrested for federal um, on his RICO case, he said another department came in and questioned him to say, do you know anything about J Prince? To me, it told me, the feds wanted to get Jay Prince. But it also told me they've been unsuccessful. What it also told me was that they're really, maybe there's something there behind everything we see. We see the courtesy calls in the San Third. But then a, a few stories was told to me. I'll, 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 I'll purport one of them. And I've, I've heard this from six people so far. So I'm inclined to believe it. And I had never knew this is how Houston ran, or that anybody can have this amount of power, but apparently this is the case. That police, DA, and everybody else will never f with certain people. And I said, nah, what the fuck? And then I got sent down a rabbit hole that I've been trying to figure out for the last f probably couple weeks. But it only convinced me that everybody who told me this was right. Maybe Jay Prince and them, they're that people. And it might sound wild. I'll give, you, I, I, I'll give you some of what I know. Let me explain. So here's a story I got told. Jay Prince Jr. Apparently he's on a very short list of the people who even beat a gun charge in New York. So he got caught with a gun in New York, beat it. Or somehow escaped and got probation. Now if we talk about the reason why he went to jail, this sounds like fairy tale. But I have to, and the only reason why I'm even putting, letting y'all know this is because when we think about anything to do with Jay Prince, I think most contemporary people in hip hop are like, what the fuck, why everybody, why does they keep doing courtesy calls and talking slow? Why does his son think whatever? Well, hear this. So I hear, basically, nobody f***s with the Prince family in Houston. Nobody. Including the cops. The cops know what it is. Jay Prince Jr. allegedly one day is driving home drunk. Hey, I'm the king of this bitch. Why not? While driving home drunk, a rookie cop. It's important to say rookie cop because if it was any other seasoned cop, they would have known that's the Prince family and shit goes different. It's important. A rookie cop pulls him over and asks him to get out. Somebody said, Accu a fool, if you believe that, I'm gonna show you all the proof you need. So you're gonna tell me if this is cap. I would what I'm saying to you, you're gonna say it's cap until I show you the proof. Hear the story. Rookie cop tells him, hop out the car. He's already like, What do you mean hop out the car? I'm J. Prince Jr. Hop out the car. Reluctantly, he hops out the car. Supposedly, they either find that he's he's um 
intoxicated or whatever. Um, they also asked to search him. This is where it gets interesting. J. Prince Jr. says to the cop. Nigga, don't touch me. You can't search me. Now, this is going to sound foreign to y'all. Because the peons like you and me can't tell the police they can't search you. But he told the cop that. You can't search me. Go ahead. Call your boss or whatever. I'm going to be out of here. Not going to jail. Blah, blah. But you're not searching me. The cop is also so confused. Because apparent, this is how much they have the cops underneath their thumb. He makes a decision to say, bro, you're drunk, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to arrest you. This is after J. Prince Jr. allegedly tells him, yo, call him, him, and him. Yo, you don't want to do this. Anyway, to showcase, to showcase some power, without resisting, and I guess the cop starts to realize this guy is somebody. He tells the cop, the cop tries to search him. Yo, get off me. Yo, don't, yo, don't touch me, nigga. If we go to jail, let's go to jail. But we ain't, don't, you ain't touching me, period. Don't, I don't do searches. These are the type of niggas who, they walk into the club. Everybody walk to the metal detectors. He walked straight around. These are the type of niggas. I'm trying to exhibit the power of how niggas like this move. And why they talk like this. Don't, don't it, like... Don't you think, like, why do these niggas be talking slow and act like they run the whole world? This is why you have to listen. So apparently, J. Prince Jr., not even a father, the junior, basically tells the cop, yo, do what you gotta do, but you're not fucking searching me. And some way, somehow, the police officer says, all right, well, since I got you on, on, on the drunk driving thing, I gotta bring you down to jail, you can get out right after... Okay, I won't search you. Just hop in the car, please. The cop is allegedly bargaining with this guy. Why? That's the power. Unbeknownst to everybody, the whole time J. Prince Jr. allegedly has a loaded gun on his waistband. The cops are shook. They never searched him one time. They allow him to get in the car. He complies with that. They never search him. He goes to the jail. He gets out the car. They still never search him. They let him go into the jail area. They still never search him. They find out later on, when obviously now you have processed and a bunch of other things, he had a loaded gun the whole time on his hip. That's crazy. So, I'm, I'm like, yeah, like, yo, why niggas, everybody care about Jay Prince? Like, yo, why is it? I get it now. If you could convince the police who are going to process you for whatever to don't put filthy hands on you and search you when you have a loaded gun in your hip and you walk into a jail cell and you walk into wherever they hold inmates. Y'all know even when the cops go down to the station, the cops got to take off their shit. The cops don't go in there with all their guns on. They take their shit off too. They let a prisoner go in there with a gun on him because they too scared of the nigga to search him. If the police scared of him, why don't you think that that's why they talk like that to everybody else? Okay, man, so you will not understand what's going on right here if you don't have a lot of money. Now, I heard some people from Houston coming to let me know they're listening up, man, what on the street? We are in Houston, we never check in with nobody, stuff like that. None of those shit is really going on over here. Bro, you never know what's going on, right? That's one thing I want you all to understand. We are talking about the people that are actually running the street. Now, some of these celebrities, all these black artists and black celebrities, bro, whenever they go to Houston, they need some type of protection from mob ties, right? So they go to mob ties, man, they pay them a lot of money, allegedly. This is what we're hearing, right? They pay them money, they check in, right? They check in with these people for protection because these people are actually running the street. Now, this has to do with people that have money, bro. Now, these men are so powerful. Now, the Jack Academy is talking about this situation, man, about the G.J. Prince Genial situation where he got arrested and went to the first, man. This man was found, gun was found on him, right? He was actually carrying a fire ram inside the jail cell, bro. That was really crazy. That was really crazy, man. The police scared of them, right? You know, the law enforcement scared of them. The feds has been investigating them for so long, but they never found anything about them. Now, listen up, man. 
when CIS9 got arrested, CIS9 told the academics that you know some federal agent pulled up on him and asked him if he knew anything about Jay Prince. I mean, isn't that scary, bruh? They asked him if he really knew anything about Jay Prince and how they are running Houston. Because man, they've been trying to investigate these people for so long. That's why Jay Prince Jr., you know, they're being careful and stuff like that. So when you are out here saying that these people are not powerful the way you know they present themselves to be, prior, you never know what you're talking about. Trust me. We can argue that under the comment section. So let me know what you all think. Remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes. So everything is allegedly. Make sure you all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And if you're feeling generous today, you can send a super thanks to the channel or you can join the channel membership. And I'll give you a very big shout out whenever I'm making a new video. Catch you guys later.